If the fan and the radiator of your PS4 have too much dust buildup, it will lower its cooling efficiency. You might end up with a noisy PlayStation because your system will turn up the fan's RPM to compensate for the poor airflow. Your system might even shut down suddenly in order to protect its components. I'm Max from Lifehacker Max doing all sorts of interesting stuff on this channel and in this video I'm going to take apart my PlayStation 4 Slim and clean it to silence. By doing this you will have to break the warranty seal, voiding the Sony warranty of your console, so think wisely before starting the disassembly. Now, the first thing I'm doing is to remove the top cover by pulling up on the front corners and then sliding the cover backwards. There are no screws on this cover and it will allow me to assess the dust situation. As you can see, there is dust everywhere as expected. This look makes it very clear to me that I need to take apart my console and clean it. I'm using a window cleaning solution and a microfiber towel to wash the dust off. and a soft painting brush to brush off any dust from electronic components as well as in tight spaces like the logo engravings, the buttons and so on. For the disassembly I used a Torx T9 bit and a Philips PH0 bit. But from what I researched on the internet, it appears that some console models have T8 Torx screws instead of T9, so it's better to have both just to be sure. The top side has a variety of screws, so it is better to keep track of which screw goes where. It will make it easier for you to put the console back together. If you get them mixed up, don't worry, because I included a photo in this video on the assembly process that should show you the right place for each screw. After removing all the screws, I removed the thin sheet of metal. Now, I am removing the hard drive cover by pushing it sideways and revealing another screw that keeps the hard drive in place. Once the screw is removed, I can simply pull on the plastic ribbon and take the hard drive out. As I said before, I'm only using the brush on electronic components and blowing the dust off using the old blowpipe. I found it as a good practice to keep the screws where they belong in order to better keep track of them. So, whenever the situation allows me, I will screw them back in their place. By removing the warranty seal sticker from the back of my console, another screw is revealed. This one is a Torx security screw that has a small pin in the middle that needs a special security bit. As you can see, this bit has a hole in the middle. You can always easily break the pin using a flat screwdriver if you don't have the special bit. Now I can remove the bottom cover by pulling up on the side corners and sliding it like I did with the top cover. This reveals even more dust that needs to be cleaned.
In order not to get any liquid on the electronics and risk damaging something, I'm only spraying the cleaning solution on the towel. With the wet towel, I can now wipe the dust off safely. There is this screw right here that keeps me from removing the power supply. But once I get that out of the way, the power supply comes right off. I take out the power supply by pulling it upwards. I put the screw in its place so I can keep track and unplug the small connector that connects the power supply to the motherboard. Found some more dust that needs cleaning. You can inspect the interior of your power supply for dust and blow away any dust without having to take it apart because the components are quite exposed on two sides. You can also use an air spray, an inverted vacuum cleaner that can blow air or a compressor to blow the dust off from the components. This metallic plate is welded in place. The plastic pins are melted and work like bolts that cannot be unscrewed. They could be cut off with a cutter, allowing me to take the plate off and gain access to the dirty fan, but I didn't want to compromise the integrity of my console, so I'm going for the fan from the other side. I take the Wi-Fi antenna off and unscrew the 8 screws that are holding the motherboard in place. Disconnect the four ribbons from their sockets. You have to be careful with the large one because it has a security tab that needs to be pulled up before pulling on the ribbon. The rest of them will come right off just by pulling them. Free the power supply wire from the plastic pins that hold it in place and the motherboard comes right off. Don't forget about the fan connector. Disconnect that as well. Now I can inspect the radiator, and it is not a pretty sight. And on I go with the cleaning. Some more brushing and blowing the dust off will be enough to gain a good airflow for my system. There are two screws that hold me from removing the fan. So I take those off and... Some more dust for me to clean.
the fan is covered in dust. This and the radiator are the most important parts that keep the console cool and need cleaning from time to time. Now that everything is clean, it is time for me to put the console back together. I am retracing my steps and if I do this right, hopefully, I won't have any screws left after the assembly. I will let the visuals guide you through the assembly process. It should be enough for you to be able to put your console back together. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will let you know whenever I will post a new video. I am making videos on various topics, so be sure to check out my channel for all kinds of cool videos, ideas, life hacks and more. I am Max from Lifehacker Max and I hope this video will help you guys with your dust situation. I will let you enjoy the rest of the video now. Thank you for watching.